Uh, now it's 12 to 2 p.m. Monday, 29th of April 2024. Let's talk about our, my uh, study life and uh, my daily life in uh, the States when I study in uh, uh, New York for my uh, master degree after I graduate. After I uh, received uh, a master degree in physics from uh, Geelong Kwan University, many people probably uh, will be interested. So I'm going to do this one in uh, English just to encourage all of my students that you can do it. You know, you have to practice. Well, you know. Um, Sorry about that. Forget to put the microphone on. And uh, let's talk about in general. The outside temperature is probably about 39 degrees Celsius. It's still hot. Um, were after I graduated uh, from uh, Geelong Kong University, you know, Bangkok, Thailand, I went to work uh, for Seagate Technology that's the related about hard disk as the failure analysis engineer. After I got a scholarship uh, from our science ministry, I, uh, that took about one year for me to uh, go through uh, a TOEFL exam and submit my application uh, to many uh, universities and finally I've been accepted and I made a decision to go to study at the Rochester Institute of Techno Technology Rochester, New York um, that's the related to uh, microelectronic processing you're talking about uh, making an uh, integrated circuit on wafer that's the difficult the difficulty of uh, the program is that uh, I need to attend uh, the quarter system program. That means uh, for one year, uh, you have three uh, uh, semesters. And the time duration is going to be shorter for one semester compared to uh, semester system. One year, if it, that's if not included to uh, summer semester, that's going to be uh, two semesters. So you have to uh, learn quick. And uh, what you have to face is that you uh, need to go through uh, lectures in English, and that's not easy. Even I already received master degree uh, uh, from Thailand. I uh, wrote my thesis in English, but still not enough. So you need to sit down or in the class and listen. Sometimes you understand, sometimes you don't understand. And you need to go through uh, textbook again. And. Uh, what different is that uh, you have so many homeworks for each uh, class. Professor will assign you at least five problems every week. So let's say uh, you have you take uh, five uh, courses per semester. One week you have a uh, five by five homework problems or 25 problems. So you just stuck in uh, the library in your apartment to complete your homework. And nobody around you uh, to help you. So you need to uh, do your best to complete your homework. Of course, you can uh, drop by a professor office after you try enough to uh, finish your homework. Um, 
professor will give you a guideline, you know, to go through uh, a homework. They will, they will give you a hint. Um, but uh, you learn a lot. Uh, you're facing a lot of problems, but you also learn a lot too. Everyday life, um, at the time, I uh, stay in a small uh, city, not a big city, so uh, you don't have a good transportation in the term of public transportations. So uh, you need to get a car, uh, get a used car, Honda Accord 85. That costs about um, 1700 US dollars, so that's not so bad. And that's when I, I need to also maintain my car. If you uh, take your car to a garage, that costs a lot. They charge you in, uh, in the term of uh, jobs in an uh, hour. But uh, the problem is that you cannot fix the car you know, uh, everywhere. Otherwise, you will get a ticket. So you need to find a place <coughs> sorry, to work on your car. In Thailand, you can you know, just park your car anywhere and you can work on your car, fix your car. It's no problem. Nobody care, right? And uh, luckily, the car has... I did not have a lot of problems. And running great. That's why, you know, I also, after I complete my uh, first master degree in the States, I made a decision to drive across the country from New York to California. That took about two weeks. But I enjoy, you know, look around uh, for the whole country. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I prepare my sandwich to go to class. And uh, after that, I also work uh, in uh, the library or common room to uh, finish my uh, research. And then, uh, you know, it, that's, that's the daily life of our, you know, study life over there. And uh, if you have free time, what can you do over there? That's very cold for the whole year. You have summer only about less than three months. The rest is very cold, so you cannot go anywhere. You, know. you can, but you will suffer from uh, the cold weather. And uh, you can just drive around to see your snow on a mountain, and you know, like for. Uh, but I'm not going like skiing, you know, I don't like it. I'm not very good in balancing. So uh, that's why, you know, I did not do that so often and that's cost money. So most of the time you just watch TV, improve your English, you know, from listening. Because of course you are attend the program in uh, engineering. So most of uh, the vocab or whatever, you know, you learn. Most of them are technical terms. But just lucky, you know, later on, we have, uh, we, I took a class, electromagnetic, and uh, professor um, do uh, the final grading, 50% from homeworks, and another 50% from our exams. Have like midterm exam or final exams. So we have to work together with my good friend Dan. He's American and German. After we finished class, we went to uh, pizza. Went for pizza. We did activities together. Many activities, you know, fishing, hiking, biking. So that's uh, the way I learned, you know, English fast from Dan. Thanks him. 
And uh, for the summer break, we have no class, so people go back home, and that's why I'm alone. So I decided to uh, drive across the country. I went to Grand Canyon. I went to uh, many, many uh, national parks. Um, that's a long way. Each, you know, a places, each place, very, very far away. Sometimes you have to drive like six hours. So that's time I drove at least 14 hours, you know, per day. But uh, it's not difficult, uh, just like you're driving in Thailand because of what uh, like most of the highway are straight. It's not like, you know, a curve and you don't have uh, uh, to watch out uh, cars does not obey uh, the traffic rules. They have a, a good highway, interstate highway. So sometimes you just drive, you know, straight for like 10 uh, kilometers and uh, I have cruise control right, over there. So you just hit the cruise control and you lock the speed. You don't have to uh, step on the gas. Um, I slept in a rest area. You're probably wondering, you know, where did I sleep when I drove across the country? Just to save money, I parked the rest area and slept in the car, you know, adjust your seat. And when you woke up 5 a.m., <coughs> you kept driving again. You took shower by, <coughs> sorry, by soaking your your towel with uh, water, you know, from sink, and then you apply, you know, the towel on your body and soap, and then uh, you remove the soap by your uh, towel again. Maybe do did that like for three or four times. You need to take shower anywhere, you know, before you keep driving. Otherwise, you will feel uncom very un uncomfortable. The funny thing is that uh, when I slept in the car, and that's very hot, my uh, Honda had no uh, AC or air condition. And uh, of course, you did driving across the country in summer, that the summer break, that's very hot. I rolled out the window, and then uh, when you're tired, when you feel sleepy, you just park, you know, your car in the rest area, of course, under a tree. And uh, when I woke up, I kind of shocked, you know, I thought of, I uh, sleep and drive, but actually, you know, I parked my car under the tree, so it's not really hot. And then I step on the brake, oh, I just parked my car, you know, just uh, take a rest, take a nap. I kept driving. Sometimes I drive at night. Uh, when you're driving at night, it depends on the regions, depend on the area. Some part of the country have so many deers, and they cross the road. Sometimes uh, they're standing just in the middle of the road, easy to hit a deer, and that's going to be a big trouble. But uh, during two weeks, I drove across the country, I have no problem with my car at all. It's just a miracle. You know, you're driving a long way and you never hit a deer, never have any accident. So uh, maybe it's just my driving experience, you know, from Thailand as, the, as a joke. That's actually not a joke. I said that if you can drive, you know, in Thailand, you can drive anywhere in the world especially in the States, because the road is so, you know, big. You have like eight lanes, traffic lanes, sometimes it's ten lanes, and you have a, you know, like, exit. You need to make a U-turn, you know, in the middle of the highway. And you need to exit and come back later on. That's very safe. 
now I don't know probably so many cars much much more cars than before that's I'm talking about like um, almost 30 years ago um, yeah that's all about my study and I spent seven years in the States I learned a lot I learned cultures I make friends but now you know I have uh, lost contact with my friends because it's been a long time and most of my friends American of course they work for companies um, as engineer they make a lot of more money than uh, become a professors but some of them also you know professors over there but they have obligation they have to come back to Thailand to work for the government now it's my 25th year in Thailand already time flies well, uh, I have one summer course, I have one student that he want to credit uh, during the summer. So that's why I offer, you know, a summer course for senior students. A uh, senior student, one senior student, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Make our electronic manufacturing. And that's talking about Six Sigma. Sigma is uh, the standard deviations. They use a very simple equation. They use the mean and uh, use the standard deviation to analyze data from the process, microelectronic processing or integrated circuit. You have so many, uh, one ship, you know, you make ship on a wafer. You have to go through many processes, maybe 60 to make CMOS, NMOS, uh, PMOS. And then uh, you need to uh, take down data in the term of uh, oxide thickness, uh, the threshold voltage, um, resistivity, and then you see that it's the out of uh, limit or not. Just say, you know, make it simple. You have lower scale limit, LSL, and you have upper scale limits. Um, USL and if your data is out of this uh, range that's mean uh, um, the process is not passed and you need to analyze past the Six Sigma program or not. Six Sigma program tells you about uh, um, how many defects you have of course you don't have you don't need to have defects from production line you need you as close as, close as the 100%. So you need to uh, improve your process. You need to correct what the problem is from. And that's the, um, to make you uh, close to 100%. But it's, it's impossible, you know, to make you uh, to be 100%. Nothing perfect. But you need to improve. That's the best you can do. And, uh, but for uh, undergrad program, I don't ask students to go through a process. We just pick up some data you know, and analyze using a simple equation, as I mentioned earlier. Mean and standard deviation and calculate for CP, CPK. Uh, process capability, uh, process potential capability, and uh, how to improve, you know, your process. That we use every company, you know, in the world, every organizations in the world, they apply uh, the Six Sigma program. It's the initiated by uh, Motorola, and uh, that's the the perfect program, easy to use. Um, the school where uh, the first semester, two thousand twenty four, we we'll start on uh, now it's April, right? the first of July, Monday. So we have summer break for what? almost three months 
ครับ I offer also electronic packaging system. Uh, the main concept is about our heat transfer. From an electronic system, you need to transfer heat out of the system because the the heat will affect a lot on uh, the system performance will cause the higher failure rate if you don't uh, transfer the heat out of your system and uh, that's we talk about uh, the thermal resistance network you need to use the what type of material does have a lower uh, thermal resistivity the same as the electrical resistivity rate in the unit of ohms. Um, if you want the current, higher current flowing through uh, your system, you need to use the, the material that does have a uh, lower resistivity. Well, the, probably you know, like, um, don't understand, you know, some of them understand that if you're working on this area. But the main point is that I want to encourage my students, you know, to. Uh, be able to communicate in English. You can do it. Um, yep, that's all for now. Now it's like 21 minutes already. Time flies. I will upload and uh, put this one uh, on my YouTube. Okay, everybody. Um, have a good Monday and take care. I'm doing fine. Bye.